And let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the joy of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters and brothers, we gather today to celebrate something beautiful, a gift fashioned by patience and hope, a love discovered in its own time. We gather with our friends Jessica and Jason and give thanks that they have waited for one another, have trusted in the constancy of God, and in the promise of their own hearts. We gather to support and bless Jason and Jessica and pray that their life together will be long and beautiful, filled with surprises, and rich with every joy. And even though I do believe I am wearing a gorgeous white gown, no one really cares because someone has a more beautiful white gown on. And so I'm going to go to the back where most priests, ministers, and rabbis belong. Because the reality is, is in a wedding, it's the two that are marrying each other are actually the ministers of the sacrament. So all your focus should be on them. So I want you to look at Jessica. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, I am. And to be fair, Jason's not all that bad himself. But it's these two that join together, that's what allows this to be a sacramental marriage. And actually, that's what's going to allow this wedding to work, and that's what's going to allow this marriage to last forever. Because it's those two that join together that are going to be the ones that are going to make this work. What God is saying is that in a partnership, as two become one and move forward, they always must necessarily be side by side. Not one in the front, not one in the rear. There's going to be times where Jessica's going to push Jason forward, and there's going to be times when Jason pushes Jessica forward. We know that. But for the most part, they're going to spend their life together side by side in a partnership. And that is the way it's been ordained and commanded and desired in the very beginning of time. Jessica and Jason, you have come together in this church that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love and the presence of the church's minister in this community of family and friends. Christ abundantly blesses your love, he has brought you to one another, and now brings you to this moment of hope and gift, a special rite of the church, so that you may live in the mutual and lasting fidelity of marriage. Therefore, in the name of the God who loves you in this community, I ask you to state your intentions. Jason and Jessica, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. We will. We accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and the church. We will. We will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your hands and declare your consent before God in this community. I, Jason, take you, Jessica Rose, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, and in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Jessica, take you, Jason Earl, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Loving God, bless these rings which we bless in your name. Consecrate Jessica and Jason in their love for each other and in the union into which they enter this day. May these rings be a sign of true faith in one another and always remind them of their love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jessica, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jason, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My sisters and brothers, allow me to introduce the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Jason Seymour, who now kiss for the first time as husband and wife. Yeah. 